They're an indie pop rock band based in Kenya. Shout out to Clef and Bandana. Let's give it up to them, guys. Come on. That is fantastic. Now, before we get to know them, they brought the guitar. It's only right. It's only right. I'm on your It's only right. Like we hear, let's go to Miss You want. You know, I love to let you in your studio. Maybe in real life, ni, you know. <laughs> so let's put them to the test. Let's hear them out. Let's hear them out. And then we come back and talk to them in a few. are super talented like if anyone doubted that now they know now they know see studio too you can actually do that uh in real life as well like yeah. on and off stage all right so let's start from uh you know clef obviously can i be everyone to introduce themselves uh, my name is clef 
My name is Kubo. I'm a bassist, singer, songwriter mm. at Clap and Banana. Uh huh. And I am Bounce, the King of Hearts. Bounce, yeah. King of Hearts. I'm ah. the guitarist and also the rapper at Clef and Bandana. Rapper yeah. and he's a ladies' man. Did you guys hear that? You can, uh -huh. King of Hearts. <laughs> And of course, we have uh, Habil. Yeah, kindly introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Habil. Mm -hmm. uh, creative enthusiast, mm -hmm. love of music. Mm -hmm. uh, I run Empire Gig and I work with Clef and Bandana. You, you work with Clef and Bandana. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so uh, we have Bounce, we have Clef, we have Kubo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kubo is the one that. Uh, <laughs> don't go. <laughs> but thank you so much for making time. I know not everyone is here. Yeah, so yeah. maybe you can give a shout to the guys that are not here today. Yes, it's just one guy who's yeah. not here. His yeah. name is Zushi. He's a drummer. Yep. And he also does beatbox. Beatbox? Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. 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 We love that. Now, um, maybe we can just uh, go from the start and you guys can tell us how you made. You, you met. met. Do you meet in campus? Do you meet at a gig? How did that come to be? Oh, right. and, yeah, and also the name, Clef and Bandana. Yeah. All right. So those two are tied together. Yeah. Because uh, uh, Kubo, mm -hmm. uh, uh, together with Bounce and a few other guys, uh, were in KU doing music. Right. And they started the band Bandana. Yes, sir. It was called Band Anna. Oh, oh. Band. Yeah. Yes. You got to ah. bump on that wave train of like yeah. heart yeah. underscore. Yeah, so you got band underscore Anna. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. was back in 2014. Mm. At that time, I was doing my own thing on my own as Claire. Yeah. So there was this competition at school. It's called Solo Night. Mm -hmm. uh, it still runs till yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, it's KU actually. We're talking about KU. KU. So. And we are KU. And then the Muku will say, "Mom." A little explain here why he said that. <laughs> it was not it was personal. It was not the school, it yeah, was yeah, personal. Yeah. So yeah, we get it. Yeah. yeah so the, at the competition, mm -hmm. a bandana was playing for the contestants mm -hmm. and I was one of the contestants. Right. So we did the competition for about a month. It was it ran for about a month. Mm -hmm. And then I won. Ah so, uh, so after <laughs> that, to call now, this thing can work. So yeah. Let's, let's try it. So yeah. we did a gig together a few years later, like two years later. Mm -hmm. yeah. We did the gig, a gig together, and the MC was like, "Let's have Clef and Bandana." And, and that's how it came to be. <laughs> yeah. <Yes. Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> You're let's like, keep it that way. Why are we yeah. looking for a name mm -hmm. like yeah. there? The MC said it. So yeah. Clef and Bandana. Yeah, so how f uh, how long ago was this? This was back in 2016. Yeah. Yeah. 20, yeah. How is it uh, five, six so, years ago? Yeah, se at seven, I thought. We were owning our oh. skills, honing our skills. Yeah. yeah. And you've come, you've come a long way. So, yeah. um, so maybe you can tell for the people who are seeing you for the first time, you can just describe your sound uh, as Clef and Banana. I know you guys do a little bit of uh, surf rock, alternative rock, mm -hmm. indie, yeah. pop. Yeah. But uh, do you just have like one style? If someone, yeah, what to ask? I think we are one of the most versatile groups mm -hmm. you'll find. Mm -hmm. But we have a lot of influence from rock yeah. and soft rock mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. pop rock. Right. That is that is the heaviest influence on the band. Mm -hmm. And then the others, they're just additions. Right. Yeah. So when you talk about influence, who are some of the influ uh, influencers, people that have influenced your sound in the industry? First of all, uh, this, is, this, is, this is like an obvious one to ask. Yeah. It's a band that looks like us. <laughs> the, the, the pianist is the singer, the guitarist is the rapper. Yeah. yeah. But unfortunately, he passed away yeah. today, uh, last night. Last that's, night? That's yeah. the script. I'm talking oh. about the script. Mm. Yeah. You haven't heard? I'm oh. so behind me. Oh my God. Oh what my are you talking God. about? Like, everybody loves the script. Yeah. Yeah. Who? Paul. Paul. Mark. Paul. It's Mark. It's Mark. Mark, oh, the yeah. guitarist. The guitar? Yeah. yeah. No wonder people have been requesting the script. I'm like, okay, people love the script, but oh wow, oh wow, like I'm so behind these. Like it, it, it's Coachella. I saw it more focused on Coachella, and I didn't. Oh wow, that is so sad. Yeah, yeah. There's also a band called 1975. 
Everybody knows yeah, 1975. Yeah. It's like one of his favorite yeah. bands forever. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> 1975. And they have the, the, the most unique names ever. Yeah. Like, it's literally a number. It's 1975. Yeah. What's your name? 19, you know? <laughs> Super cool. Yeah. Right. So, I love that for you guys. And you've come a long way. So, have you evolved, like, since you've begun, like, in terms of style? Have you, like, the more you play, you go and change the way you sound? Definitely. Or definitely. you still sound the if same? If you want to know a story, just go to one. <laughs> go to our Instagram yeah. and scroll down mm -hmm. and scroll we'll down and see where we've come from and where we are now. And where you, you are, are right now. Than we yeah. are. <laughs> 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 so it gets like it, it, it gets better. Like yeah. it gets better yeah. with time. And of course like apart from me we have Habil right here. So yeah. Habil is our, he's into more event planning. And uh, he's also very creative and all that. So maybe he, you can tell us a little bit about what you do and how long you've been doing that for. Thank you. Thank you so much for that warm intro yeah. uh, as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an enthusiast. I like music. I've loved music since I was a kid growing up. Yeah. And I have almost the same influences they have. Mm -hmm. I've always been a rocker at heart as well. So this is the perfect venue for this, I'd say. Yeah. But yes, I work with creatives on a small and large scale. Yeah. So we at Empire Gig try and find opportunities for bands that are as talented as Clef and Bandana yeah. to perform at. Mm. And it's digitized in a way that you at home can be able to book Clef and Bandana for a gig. Mm. It could be even yeah, birthdays, birthdays, mm. weddings, mm. bar mitzvahs for the Jews, you mm. know. We, no one is left out. Yeah. Yeah. Ideally, this talent you're seeing on TV could come to your home where you are. Right. So that's what we do at Empire. Mm. Yeah. And they're super talented. So if they're coming to your birthday, believe me, or your wedding, they're not coming to disappoint. Like, you know. <laughs> like, <laughs> Mr. Xema, it was worse than it is right now. So, <laughs> as long as you're feeding them, they're good to... Okay, no, that's, they're not paid by food. Yeah, you got to pay the, the money right now. To Litoka, to Litoka na exposure. We're not doing it for exposure anymore. We are <laughs> we've grown, man, bills. The, the economy does not allow us to get paid by exposure anymore. Right, so uh, for Clef and Bandana, uh, I, I know you have uh, a couple of tracks out. Litoka Kungoza, one of my favorites, like... Like uh, from like you know way back top of the morning right unanifanya uh, cheesy so tell us like how when, when when did you release your first single officially because you met like probably six years ago so when did you like now hit the studio as Clef and Bandana? So the first song we released was back in 2017 December mm -hmm. on the 24th. Yeah. yeah. Hey, then, you remember? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Christmas Eve. Like, is that yeah. <laughs> Christmas Eve. Yeah. 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 So that was the first song we released, and then we released another one mm. like a year later right. called Songanami, mm. and then another one called Top of the Morning. Yeah, that's cool. And then we took some sort of break. It was not really a break. We've been performing. Mm -hmm. All these years we've been performing. We, 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 we usually perform more than 100 shows a year. Yes. That is actually true. Yeah. No, but Thanks but to Empire Gigan. Right. Yeah, we because took a mini break during the COVID. It's sort of season. like a, a, a hiatus, but mm. not yeah. really. Because you yeah. were supposed to come on the show. Yeah. Yeah. But you couldn't make it because you were not together as a band at the, at the time. Yeah, so how did you find your, your, your way back together then? Uh, it, was, it, was, it was a godsend moment, mm. if, in my opinion. Because right. we had stayed together for a very long time before COVID. And then COVID came and kind of took us to different places. Mm. So everyone kind of wow. And mm -hmm. then by the time we were coming back, everyone was, had gotten comfortable in mm -hmm. themselves. Yeah, they had be yeah. they had become something that True. they wouldn't have yeah. if we were we stayed together for that time. I know, yeah. right? But also I feel like COVID was like a blessing in in disguise. Because sometimes when you're working too much and you're working on mm -hmm. these, you have yeah. like bills to pay and everything. Like you get so exhausted, you do not you're not creative as you're supposed to be. Yeah. So that break I feel like everybody literally needed it to work yeah. on themselves. And so that when you come together, everyone has like different ideas that work exactly. for you all yeah. as a group. And then I know everyone like talking about everyone having their own business and everything, how mm. often do you meet for practice? Uh, right now, we usually meet like every, every day. day. No way. When you came, <laughs> back, <laughs> when you came back from uh, that, that whole yeah. period, yeah, uh, to like close to each other. Mm. So, mm. where I live is I'm his oh, so neighbor. Oh, uh, like around yeah, the same uh, estate, exactly. yeah. So, we usually meet every time. 
shibli zake we come and meet up we talk we don't have to practice every day but we meet up right every day and it's super great and i love the fact that every one of you in the group uh, knows how to play an instrument because yeah, yes. sometimes you find that uh was <laughs> when that's it like you were the lead singer and you're also good yeah, at the keys yeah. and everything so that is like super cool so would you have any member like uh anajokuimba but now that you are there if someone were to be what to leave so kama jokuimba like kama una jokuimba na ujikucheza you out <laughs> is that how you came together? <laughs> we're like, no, we're only looking for talent plus. No, actually, yeah. when Bandana was starting, yeah. mm-hmm. no one they, knew, no knew one, how to no play anything. Knew. Ah. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. we taught ourselves Ivo Fakwale. Mimi nilianza kitambo kidogo, but to become a professional it takes a lot of practice. And practice. So, do you practice off YouTube or you took like, like, like classes? Like classes. Mostly. Yeah. But <laughs> me and yeah. Bounce were in music school at yeah. KU, so oh. yeah, we have yeah, some. Yeah, so that like, helped like a great yeah, thing. Yeah, the theory part and, yeah. Yeah. you know, understanding what you're doing, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, theoretically. Right. Yeah. And uh, you talked about having like a hundred gigs every single year. I, the last time I checked, you had like Clef in Nairobi, there's Clef and Friends, there's that. So um, are you back to doing that? And uh, To playing uh, Pomoja as a mm-hmm. unit. Yeah. And we actually did a, an EP. Mm-hmm. We released an EP last week. Right? Seven days ago. I'm so loving yeah, it. With right. Razamo, I, I've actually had Razamo on the show. Like, yeah, for real. Yeah. yeah, he came through. Awesome. And he's super, super talented, talented. also. Yeah. Yeah, very so, talented. you linked up at events, or how did yeah, that happen? Yeah, we linked up at an event mm-hmm. last year. Last year in Naivasha. Uh, yeah. uh, at a time like this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. In Naivasha. Mm. Yeah. And we, we just hooked up. And... It became something in Kasema. Let's do Flowers. this. <laughs> so uh, uh, platforms like Empire Gig mm. uh, bring a lot of collaboration into yeah. the industry, which is uh, actually lacking a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's what the industry is lacking. Because yeah. Yeah. if we all collaborated, mm. big artists and small artists, small artists exactly. our industry would be bigger than it is right mm-hmm. now. So mm. we met at a gig that was organized in the same way that Habil organizes gigs. Yeah. So someone booked... Uh, Rasa Mo mm-hmm. and booked Clef and Bandana and for other the same, artists. For the right. same and then we event, met. Yeah. We met at the venue mm-hmm. and we created magic. And you created magic. Yeah. The EP is out. It's, it's called an EP. It's Kitoel. called Kitoel. Yeah. There are like four. Is it four or five tracks? Four, four tracks. Four tracks, right? Yeah. I'm loving all of them. Uh, we're gonna play, I think, one or two. Yeah. But yeah, time is literally uh, getting out. Yeah. Time is like getting out of out of hands. Like it's literally leaving us. But Habil, I know you guys have an event together uh, that is coming up on the 29th. 29th. Yeah, yes. that is uh, like one, two Saturdays. For, two, yeah. After next Saturday, the other Saturday. Yeah, so tell us about that. Yeah, we're going to have our show. It's a, a festival. We're calling it The Plan. So ideally, it is the plan we want everybody to come to. It's going to be on the 29th of April mm-hmm. at the National Museum. So everybody who's never been, this is your chance. Everybody who's been, please come. Uh, there, are there are more vibes, vibes like, like this. this. Yeah. We have performing DJs. We're going to have artists. It's going to be a big show. It's going to be a big day. Yeah, I'm excited yeah. about that. Who are some of the people that are playing alongside the band? Because we're having a few selections. We won't release everything just yet because yeah. we want you to come. Yeah. Uh, but we will have the likes of Canada, uh, the DJ. We'll have Nijo. We'll have uh, one and only DJ Max Jones right. on the decks. Okay. Uh, so, so, venue and, and ticket. Someone in Bure. Like, yeah. The most affordable events. Mm. Uh, we are selling tickets at a G. That's 1,000 Kenya shillings yeah. for entry. And 3,000 for VIP. If you're feeling yourself, please do. Uh, you're very welcome. Uh, it should be good vibes and good fun for a whole night. Yeah. And uh, where is that? It's going to be at the National Museum. Uh, that's along Kipande Road. Oh, Kipande Road. Yes. Yeah, I'm really excited about that. I'm going to be coming to you. are yeah. going. Actually, he's playing, he's right? Playing, he's right. playing at the event. So it's going to be dope. All right, so just tell us your socials, where people can find your music and social media. Then you can give us one last performance because we literally have like five minutes to go. So, uh, yeah, let's do that. All right. So social media, just uh, search Clef and Bandana. That's C-L-E-F mm. and Bandana. Yeah. Everything is there. The link for the EP is there. Mm. Everything we our will gig, do. Yeah. We our have a gig. tour on Sunday. Yeah. We are finishing we have our a, mama house tour. Actually, it, it's tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. 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 So yeah, wow. we'll find all our details in there. Yeah. Awesome.
Check them out on the socials, Clef and Bandana. If you need details on how you can get your ticket on where they are performing next, go check them out. Clef and Bandana, everywhere, right? Yeah. All right, so which song are you performing for us next? So let's do that. We're still here. We still have a little bit more of time. We're coming back to check out uh, Rock Post, Tama. Yeah. All right, let's do that. Tell my pride and book it down, 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 down. You did it by yourself now. Your beauty spots and your pretty smile. Oh, 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 oh. you gotta stop making me act like a fool now. Oh, oh, oh. And I've been taking too long to tie my shoes now. Oh, oh, oh. Cause I've been thinking about you. Now, baby, stop loving me so hard. Now, baby, stop loving me so hard. I want to know how you do it. How you do it? Cause my friends, they say they miss the old me You know I never needed no one to get by But you got me on my knees And you don't even try Baby, stop Loving me so hard Now baby, stop Loving me so hard Nanny cheese, Nanny fire 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 cheese, Nanny